You may be ready to hit the mountains for the Labor Day holiday, but will I-70 near Glenwood Springs be ready for you? The Grizzly Creek fire has left the highway vulnerable to rockfall. Tonight, we are covering the issue from two angles for you. Lord Whitney with a look at how weather may impact the area this week, but we start with Alan Janay tonight. And Alan, you spoke with a rockfall expert who says it could take years before the effects of the fire actually fade out. Yeah, that's true, Karen. Uh, it takes about three to five years for basins like those in Glenwood Canyon to settle down after a fire. You know, there is going to be a lot of traffic here along I-70 this coming weekend, and with rain falling now, we're thinking a lot about that right now. Here's the situation, says CDOT. If the forecast calls for anything more than moderate rain, there could be safety closures in the canyon. For the first time, CDOT Monday got a helicopter above Glenwood Canyon to get a better look at what the fire has done. We can see only a certain part of the slope from the ground. From the air, you can see the, the bigger picture. Ty Ortiz is in charge of what CDOT calls the geohazards team, looking at slopes and studying the danger. I think it's really important. We understand that we're not going to be able to stop everything. Firefighters mapping out high heat areas told us roots burned away. There's nothing to hold the soil up on the slope at this point. They come in and they generate burn severity maps. And then other people, the United States Geological Survey, they model debris flows. But even that is imprecise, says Ty Ortiz. They're just models. You really don't know what is going to happen until you, until, until you see it. That, that model gives you a direction. The canyon has certainly had its big slides before. In 2016, rock crashed down on the highway, leaving people stuck. Ortiz says they will likely add fences along barriers and some drape netting, but some areas may simply be too steep. It's really rugged terrain up there. It's difficult to work. So we couldn't build really large rock wall fences or debris flow fences along all the stretches. The first big storms will likely define how often we might see closures. There's a bit of an unknown, right? Well, Ty Ortiz says they're going to work very closely with the National Weather Service to try and figure out as best they can where storms might hit in the canyon and how severe they might be. And he also makes one other note, Jim and Karen. He says that even closing the highway and sending people around has its own risks. You put people on the highway for longer periods of time and also they'll have to drive through areas where there could be rockfall at any time, any day, as always in Colorado. Along I-70, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First. Thank you.